Okay, I got some new orders today, and this came straight from the top. They said, Scott, we need a video on how to install the summer top. So, summer top from the top. Here we go. Welcome back to Team G503. I am Scott Schiller, your host. We're going to take a little break from the electrical videos. We're getting along with those. I believe we've got 20 out now, and that's progressing really well. But we thought we'd kind of change gears a little bit. Been getting asked a lot, and I know it's winter time, but for some reason, a lot of folks are asking, how do I install the top, and how do those top bows work, and how do my straps go to hold those top bows down, and that kind of like. So we figured we'd do a video just to show you this. like to send a thank you out to Dave Pizzaferrato of Weeby Webbing. He made the summer soft top for the 1943 Wilson B, and that top is absolutely top-notch, fantastic, unbelievable good quality. Thank you, Dave. Beautiful top. Let's dig into the video. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's start by taking a look at the rear end of the tub here of the 1943 Willis MB. And there we have the top bows. They're all strapped in the, according to the way they're supposed to be. And we've got the front brackets there where the top bows are stowed in the front. And then we've got the rear bracket there that will actually hold the top bows as we install the tub. We've got the thumb screw there and the safety chain. It's the same on the passenger side. These straps are made by Joe's Motor Pool and they're very high quality. And there's a certain way that they're installed. As you look here, you can see I've kind of got that wrapped in between my top bow there so it doesn't rub or vibrate on there and it holds it really nice and tight. You'll be able to see how those are strapped in when I remove them. But for all in all, we can just unbuckle here. We just pull this down and let the teeth release there and then we can undo the strap. This is one of the questions that we get asked a lot is exactly how these top bow straps are supposed to be installed. So as I undo this, I hope that you can see how I've got this wrapped through here. So we undo it and this is going to go down through the bottom footman loop and there you can see how I've got that between the two top bows and then I flip it over and it is held to that top bow with a footman loop. And we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Let's look at that one more time. You take the strap off, it goes through the footman loop and then it's through the inner two pieces there of your top bows. I've got a little trick that I'll show you later how we can stow those so they don't flap around when you've got your top up. The next step that we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll unloosen the thumb screw. You don't want to completely undo these and you don't have to. Just turn them out about a quarter of an inch and you'll feel where they stop biting into the top bow itself. You don't want to take them all the way out because then you're just going to have to re-thread them. The safety chain will hold them in place if you do happen to release them. We'll do the same thing here on the driver side. And after that thumb screw is loosened, here you can see the top bow where it's stowed between the jerry can and the rear seat. And this is the problem that a lot of times folks have when they try to pull this out of here. It kind of has a nice fit in there and there's a pin in there that also holds between a little groove that's cut into the top bow. So the best way to do is I grab by the center here and I just pull back gently, maybe a half inch to a quarter inch at a time. You don't want to spring the sides and have those top bows go scratching down the side of your tub and they can cause a lot of damage. So I just do a little bit of increments at a time and I'll show you an angle from the outside as well after I do this here where you can actually see the top bow pop out of that front bracket. I'm starting to get close here as you can see those two little slits that are cut in to the top bows that are actually installed on the inside there into pins that hold them in place. Here's another angle with a different camera so you can see it as it actually pops out there and this is what I'm talking about. If you pull one side too angled or to the other it won't come out nice and easy and then you can drop that down accidentally on the side of your Jeep there and scratch it all up. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got this lifted out of the brackets. We've still got the task of coming over the top of the spare and the jerry can there. So you've got about an inch there that you can work with this. And what you want to do is you want to grab each side and kind of just gently work it up and then slide it at the same time, both sides equally, so you don't get yourself bound up. And then I set it on the seat there. That seems to hold it in place for me. And then I can come to one side and I can lift that up as I'm going to have to install that one end of the top bow into that bracket with that square cutout is that I'm showing you right here. Here's another point during the installation of the top and the top bows where you're going to be prone to scratch parts. So just take your time and go start from the center there and you just pull up on there until you get to the point where it just clears the bracket as I'm showing you here and then you can gently put those sides in both sides at the same time into those square openings and once you get that seated it's going to touch the bottom side of that bracket and then we can go ahead and we can re-tighten our thumb screws back up on both the passengers and the driver's side.
sure they're secure. Then we'll come to the back side of the Jeep here, and the top bows are still together as, a, as the set would be as it was stowed. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to push that top bow forward. And I'm kind of going to over-exaggerate it on this just so I can show you how this unfolds. You don't have to fold it this far forward when you do this. I just want to show for sakes of purposes and how far it will fold. And you want to keep that maybe probably about a 20 to 25 degree angle open while you're installing this off top. Let's take a look here from the passengers and the driver's side here. I'll show you what I'm saying. So it's just it's just open to the point where, and when we install the soft top, there's two specific areas that go on there that are going to make your adjustments. So it'll, it'll make, be more clear as the video goes on. Now these straps, I didn't like how they were hanging like that. I didn't want them flapping around. So I looked around a little bit and what I decided to do was is to insert the whole tail end of that strap through there and then go as tight as I can, then wrap it through the footman loop there on the top bow and then come back around one more time with the loop and make one more pass and that tab will fit inside that buckle and that'll just keep it nice and tight so it doesn't flap around there and maybe perhaps in the wind while we're driving. I'll do the same thing here on the passenger side. Again, you will have enough room in that buckle if you tighten this up to really just nice. I'm not really putting too much tension on it, but the tab ends just there after the buckle, and you've got enough room there with even though you've gone through the buckle with double straps, so to say. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take our top out, and then I'm going to remove the doorway strap there, and we just unclip that from the eyelet in the front. I'll be showing you this in another video on how these are installed. These are also made by Joe's Motor Pool and are fantastic quality. I really, really cannot tell you enough how much I enjoy working with these Joe's Motor Pool projects. Get my towel out of the way, keeping that there so I don't scuff the floor up as I'm working on the MB. And then what we'll do is we're going to flip our passenger seat forward. You see those two straps that are holding that top in there, and they're just buckled through one time and you notice there's one short strap on one side and one long strap on the other side. This is an area of great controversy about what would have came from the factory and there's evidence of both ways and we'll be doing a video on that also in the near future but for the time being now we'll just go ahead and put those tabs back on those straps and we can take our soft top out here. I'm laying the soft top out here on the CJ2A just to get an orientation. Again I've been asked to do a video which I will do in the near future of how to fold and restow this. You can see how high quality this canvas is and how well the stitching has been done. I'm really excited to install it onto the top bows in the Jeep because I, I just know it's going to fit. I've heard really good things about Dave Pizzoverato and Weeby Webbing. So we're at the back of the Jeep here, and here's how I'm going to start. I'm going to undo the jerry can buckle because we're going to need to put that strap through the back side. There's an opening in the back side of the soft top, and there's a video out on how to install that strap also. Again, also Joe's Motor Pool. I say I'm really enjoying these straps from Joe's Motor Pool. I actually have a couple of sets, and the other set that I had I actually abused on purpose, tried to rub in the dirt, pulled back and forth, and tried to tear it, and they got to tell you they really hold up nicely, so I would highly recommend using the Joe's Motor Pool straps that are available from Joe's Motor Pool in the UK and Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts in the United States. Walking around over here to the CJ2A and I'm going to pick this top up. It'd be really nice if you had two people that could do this. It could be done with one person. This part right here is probably what I would call the toughest part is you've got to kind of drape this canvas over the top of that top bow in the back there. And it's a little difficult to do by yourself. You're kind of stretching yourself out. But basically I'm just going to take this passenger side and I'm looking so from the straps that are on the bottom and I'm going to slowly work that over the top bow. And the toughest part is the front of that canvas is going to want to drag on the inside of your Jeep and catch up on the seats. So you kind of got to work yourself back and forth. I got myself a little pocket there that I've got installed over the corner of the back top bow there on the driver's side. And then we'll go back through and reach on the inside of the Jeep. We're going to pull that canvas. Again, that's the tough part. You kind of got to go back and forth on the Jeep here. And you want to make sure that you get all those things that you need to get lined up, lined up. And they kind of want to grab onto things and catch onto things as you're doing this. Believe me or not, I one time saw a contest between three guys to see who could put the soft top up the fastest. And they were kind of acting how they were, you know, would have done it if they were in the rain and the war. But once you've got those two pockets on the back side of that canvas top there tucked in snug to those top bows on the rear. This is the toughest part to do and you're about 50-60% done right here. The rest of it's pretty easy. Okay, the next step is we're going to step to the middle of the tub here and we're going to pull the front of the top over that center or front top bow. And I removed the passenger side corner and I didn't do it because to make it easier to install the top. I did it because when I pull this all the way from the front, I want to show you an angle of how those pockets that are sewn into that canvas top fit those top bows so well. After I get this front side here over this second top bow, we'll walk back there with the camera and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because I can't tell you enough how much I enjoy working with this top because of how well it is put together and all the small little details that make it really easy to install. 
Let's move to the back top bow again here so I can show you that pocket that I was talking about earlier and how well it's sewn. These are the two points that are going to actually hold your top bows in place. That cup that they've cut in there or that curve is perfect for those top bows. And then we've got those three, what I'll call tabs of canvas that are sewn underneath and they've got the lock style fasteners. We'll be looking at that in the future. For the next step we're going to do here, we're going to install those little eye grommets over the front cap stand screws. I like to start on the outside of the windshield frame and work my way in. There's other people that would say that it would come from the inside out, would work better. As long as the top, you can reach those capstan studs, you'll be okay. So I'm going to start on the outside here, on the passenger side, and I'm just going to simply put those grommets onto those cap stand screws that I've got there on the windshield and just push them on and they should snap on. Now, there's no locking mechanism on this particular style. From what I understand, the earlier Jeeps did have a single, like a claw clip, but these are the ones that would be on most of the MBs and GPWs. I'm going to go to the opposite side here on the driver's side. And if you notice, they're fitting almost perfectly onto those cap stand studs that I've got there on the windshield. It's, again, very well made, very precisely made. And you notice there's no wrinkles or creases, and this is going on extremely easy. I'm working myself from the inside out this time and going over the passenger side. Now, you need to install this area of your top first, the front, before you install those back straps. And we'll get to that here in a second. Because if you put the straps in the back footman loops and you try to stretch this over the top, you're going to have a really difficult difficult time with it. Let's take a nice close look at those capstan screws there and those eye grommets that are on the front side of this summer top. They're very well made. It's high quality fasteners and if you notice there they fit perfectly. There's no variation there. I've probably probably the eighth of an inch difference that I could have done either way so that worked out great. Now we're going to take our top bow. We're going to put it right in the center there. You see that stitched line. That line is a center line for you when you're on the inside and you can have, take those three tabs I talked about and we'll fasten those in a second here. Let's go to the back now let's snug our back of our top back up and we'll pull those pockets right on into those top bows just like I was talking about earlier. Again, fits perfectly. When I was given that one a snugging back, it seems I've loosened that one on the driver side there. So I'll just walk over and we'll just pull that on too. And if you're doing this at this point, you're going to notice that this is where the top is going to start to get slightly taut. After we get in the center, we push that center top bow back into the center. It's going to be very taut. So, but for right now, you can see how it's cleaned up nice and crisp. And we're actually looking like we've got something going on here now. Let's move down here. We'll install our straps. The first strap that I'm going to reinstall is going to be the one for that jerry can that we removed right in the beginning of the video. You can see there's a stitched square that's void open there, and that's where we're going to insert this long end of our jerry can strap. It just simply goes right through that hole. We can drop it off. And then you notice here these straps, they're extremely well stitched, the ones that are attached to the footman loops. And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and loosely put this first one on. I'm not going to pull it tight. I'm just going to kind of snug it up, slip the tab through the inside there where you can see the teeth on the bottom side of the buckle and just kind of give it a gently pull and let those teeth hold that tab for the time being. After I get all of the straps installed, I'll come back after I get everything tightened up and I'll give them one last snug and then I'll put them back through the top side of the buckle. So I'll just work my way down and I'll install all the straps onto the footman loops. Again, just put them through the teeth and then give yourself just a slight little pull just so the teeth grab those. This area in the back here is what we're going to come back and give us our final little snug and pull and make everything nice and taut. The only strap locations that are a little difficult to get out of the ones here on the spare tire carrier there right behind the tire. It's a little difficult to get your hands in there. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but you want to slip those on also and get those all pre-tightened as I'll call it, and then we'll move back to the front side of the Jeep. Before I install the center snaps there, I just want to double check to make sure that none of my grommets came loose there from the capstan screws because if you tighten that back up and you have one that's loose, it is going to be difficult to kind of stretch that back and pull it back over. So just double check to make sure. Now inside here, you see these are stitched on to the canvas here. We've got the twist style snaps and how that works is, is that front side has got the opening there with a little notch cut in it that holds that turn buckle as I'll call it. As you install that, it'll lock inside that place so it can't come out. I'm going to start with the one here on the passenger side. And what we're going to do is we're going to push our top bow. Now, when you push this top bow just that little bit, it's really going to make that top nice and snug. As you can see now, we're all coming together. So then we'll take those two pieces of canvas and we'll fold the side that has the locking tab on it onto the top of the top bow as I'm showing you here first. And then you can wrap around the front side there with the one that's got the female side and opening to it. Push it through and then turn the locking tab there till it clicks inside those two little cutouts or two little notches in the female side of the fastener. 
I'll show you exactly how I did that here in a second. For the next part, I'm just going to go for the center one, and then I'm going to go to the driver's side to do that one. Let's take a close look here at these fasteners as I explained. So the male side would be the one with the turn or the locking buckle on there. You can see it goes through, and then it turns, and then those two tabs hold that in place so it cannot come out. So now I've got all three of these installed. Now I'm going to go to the back side of the Jeep, and I'm going to give that one last little pull or tug. And I'm not talking about three or four inches where you pull it to one side. You kind of got to do them all nice and even. I'm going to start in the center here and I'm just going to pull down till that feels tight. I only pulled it down maybe another inch and a half from the initial point there where I fastened those and you kind of work your way back and forth and get that nice and flat and then after you do that you can install that tab through that buckle through the top and it'll hold it nicely in place. I'm just going to go now and work my way back through the back side of the tire to the opposite side of the Jeep and make sure everything's tight and everything lays flat then we can come back and reinstall our jerry can. Okay, got everything all tightened up. Everything's flat on the back. I haven't over cinched everything. If you're over cinching those straps, you will notice an oblongation, I'll call it, in that window that's cut on the back. So we've got our straps here that we took off in the beginning of the video, and now we're going to reinstall the jerry can. So you just lift your jerry can back up onto the stand there, slide the strap through the top side of the jerry can handles. And there's some different ways I've seen guys do this, but for the most part, that's the way I've seen it. We'll go through here and we'll just take the top buckle now. Now this is the exact opposite as it would have been on the top there. This one you're going to go through the top, pull up on it, and the teeth will hold it in place. And then you put the tab through down the back side of the buckle there. And then we're all back and secure. And our jerry can strap is all secure through our summer top. Before we finish up the video, let's just take a look around here. We'll start here on the back of the driver's side corner, and I've got all the buckles here tightened up and snugged behind the tire. And again, this is fantastic canvas. The garage smells of the canvas. There's no doubt about it. And if you know what I'm talking about, you probably love that smell just as much as I do. All the fantastic corners and joints are exactly as they should be. The webbing on the outside is sewn very nicely. The inside webbing also, and the hardware is fantastic. And I'm loving these grommets and these capstan screws that I also bought from Weeby Webbing on the front side of the Jeep. Hope you enjoyed the video and this helped you out. And there you have it. The video is a little bit long, but there's little intricacies. It's not hard to do if you follow that step by step, and you can also take it down just as easy. It's just in reverse. In fact, I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to take the top back down, and folks have also asked a lot how that gets folded up properly to get stowed underneath that passenger seat, as well as questions about those two straps that seems to be going on and on and on too. So we'll have a video about those straps also for you in the near future. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking that subscribe button down there, and also click that little bell so you get notifications of when we release the new videos. Until next time, my friends, keep the top off, keep the rain off your head, keep it safe, and happy jeeping.